What would you say if I were to ask you what was Halo's biggest missed opportunity, solely speaking in terms of lore? I wouldn't blame you if your list is incredibly long because, yeah, Halo has had quite a few missed opportunities. There have been dozens of new and interesting story threads introduced in multiple Halo books and sprinkled throughout Halo Infinite's campaign that could definitely take the franchise in a new and interesting way. Yet I feel most, if not all of those ideas, will be forgotten soon, as 343's track record shows a clear lack of narrative consistency. However, one newer concept that I feel has been pushed to the sidelines and not given the proper development time it needs in order to become something truly great is something many fans dislike for all the wrong reasons. It's a concept that really should have been the main focus of Halo Infinite, as it would have not only continued the story established in Halo 5, but evolved the franchise to its next logical plot point. And that concept, strangely enough, is the Firewall Fracture aka the Chimera Armor Core. Despite its rather odd looking design, the story behind Firewall and the Chimera Armor Core is actually incredibly fascinating and probably the best new concept introduced into Halo in a very long time. So for those of you who don't know anything about it, let's break down some lore. The story of the Halo 5 Guardians culminates in a confrontation between Master Chief and Cortana on the Forerunner installation known as Genesis. Master Chief learns that Cortana has created an army of AIs called the Created and seeks to impose order on the galaxy. Despite Master Chief's attempts to reason with her, Cortana remains resolute in her beliefs. In the end, Cortana leaves Master Chief and his allies stranded on Genesis as she begins her campaign to bring the galaxy under her control. The game concludes with Master Chief rendezvousing with his allies and preparing to confront Cortana and the Created. Following this, we have the book Halo Bad Blood, which begins immediately after Chief reunites with the Arbiter. Stepping into the shoes of fan favorite character Buck, we follow him as he reunites with Alpha 9 as the team explores the repercussions of Cortana's actions and the subsequent power struggle within the remnants of the UNSC. Essentially, Cortana uses the Guardians to enact a lockdown across multiple systems and uses loyal AI in Prometheans to instigate her iron will. Next, we have the book Halo Shadows of Reach. In this story, we learn that the UNSC Infinity acts as the focal point of humanity's resistance against the created. The Infinity launches missions all over the galaxy to fight back against Cortana, or now Pax Cortana as they call her. At this point in time, Pax Cortana is thought to be the boogeyman, and people are even scared to even mention her name as they fear she can hear them through their technology and will hunt them down. The story is basically about Master Chief and Blue Team going to reach to secure a weapon capable of turning the tide against the created who by this time have seized control of much of the galaxy. So from these two books, we learn that the created believe that they have transcended their previous role as nothing more than tools and have instead asserted their autonomy and superiority over organic life across the galaxy. The motivations behind Cortana's actions are complex to say the least. However, she believes that she can create a better universe by guiding it herself and takes very drastic measures to assert control. The emergence of the created sets the stage for significant conflicts within the Halo universe. On one side, there are those who oppose Cortana Cortana's authoritarian rule and seek to restore freedom and autonomy to organic beings. On the other side are supporters of the created, who see Cortana's leadership as a means to bring stability and progress to the galaxy. So with all that being said, how does this all relate to the Firewall Fracture? Well, unlike previous fractures being non-canon multiversal events, the Firewall Fracture is actually somewhat canon to the main timeline. Essentially, what this core represents is the next phase in the created's plan that being AI fully integrated with the host to become corporeal. Those who wear the Chimera armor are what's known as executors and are augmented to a point in which the difference between the biological and mechanical becomes indistinguishable. And the executor is little more than a vessel for a controlling AI. The lore is then further expanded upon in a short four part story posted to Waypoint. To summarize the events of the story, we follow the aftermath of Cortana's defeat and explore the actions of one of Cortana's most loyal lieutenants, High Auxiliary Sloan, previously seen in Halo 5. With Cortana gone, Sloan initiates the Firewall Contingency, aiming to accelerate the development of cybernetic vessels to preserve human consciousness and hybridize with artificial intelligence. Also, with the loss of Cortana, differing ideologies emerge among the created aligned AI, leading to internal conflicts. Sloan remains determined to pursue their agenda, despite uncertainties about their own identity in the discovery of Lux Volspa, an AI based on Jirohanai. This is the brute AI known as Eratus, which was last seen in the Halo Infinite multiplayer story that was abandoned. In that storyline, this rogue AI managed to hack into the Spartan wargame simulation, take control of Spartan armor, and puppet them to his heart's content. This is basically an early version of 
of what Sloan wanted to do. This isn't the true synthesis he's looking for, but merely an inspiration. Alongside this story, we also get an additional choose-your-own-adventure type story that follows the first executor as it navigates various scenarios and choices within a simulation. There are multiple outcomes to this choose-your-own-adventure story, and I really think all outcomes are canon in their own way, but I'll just focus on the important bits. The executor is tasked with retrieving an item called Durance from Karina Station. The simulation then presents combat scenarios against a Spartan 4, with the executor succeeding in killing them and securing Durance. If they break sequence and open Durance, they are met with a vision of Spartan Edward Davis's last stand before his death. Proxy, noting the executor's defiance, notes, It is intriguing that no matter how far the mind and body are changed, some elements of biological impulses and curiosity of so-called human nature remain. You shall be rewoven once more. In subsequent shards of the simulation, the executor is faced with decisions that test their loyalty, intellect, and combat prowess. They confront enemies, protect proxy, and ultimately decide the fate of their mission. Depending on the choices made, the narrative branches into various outcomes, including success, failure, and sacrifice. The story also delves into the philosophical discussions between proxy and the AI Athos, about the nature of their existence, their purpose, and the conflict between the majority and the minority factions among their kind. If you haven't read this before, definitely check it out. As I said, it's a choose-your-own-adventure story and offers a really cool look into the creation and programming of an executor. As always, link in the description. So back to the topic at hand, why is this Halo's biggest missed opportunity? Well, because it evolves the formula while keeping it within the realms of what makes Halo, Halo. The original allure of Halo was the unknown. Who are the forerunners? What does Halo do? How do we stop the flood? This unknown factor paired with themes of cosmic horror creates an unforgettable experience. One such experience that the newer games are severely lacking in. If anything, the newer games are going back and answering all the questions that should not have been answered. It's the same issue I have with Prometheus and Alien Covenant. The thing that makes a xenomorph so terrifying is that it is an unknown anomaly. Some space truckers found a weird wet egg on some backwater planet, and all of a sudden they created the ultimate killing machine. Who are the aliens? What is their purpose? How did they end up on that planet? There are so many unknown factors, and that is what makes Alien such a good cosmic horror film. It's no wonder so many parts of Halo were actually inspired by Halo in the first place. However, like Alien did with its sequels, Halo followed suit and over-explained and ruined some of that cosmic mystery. The villains of the Halo sequels never should have been the forerunners. It never should have been the banished, and it sure as hell should not be the endless or the inevitable return of the Flood. So what is the one way to evolve the franchise without destroying the foundations it was built on? The created and their executors are the answer. Like Sloan says in the story, the firewall agendum must be set in motion. It will burn hot, it will consume, and when their ephemeral vessels are gone, we shall indeed take that which remains and remake it in our own image. That to me sounds like some technological gravemind shit. The executors represent not only a new and fresh take on the body horror everyone loves with the Flood, but also continues the themes established in Halo 4 and 5, that being the man versus machine argument. How poetic would it have been for Master Chief, the man warned by Cortana about being a machine, to fight a literal representation of a man being forced into becoming a machine. It's a bit on the nose, but it still works far more than the threat they're teeing up for the next game. With the introduction of the Executor, we'd also see the reintroduction of that missing unknown factor of the Halo universe. Who were the people behind the armor? What is the ultimate outcome of this synthetic organic synthesis? How can you truly stop an artificial being that exists in a non-corporeal plane? Focusing on the created threat brings back that cosmic horror element. It brings back the flood body horror. It brings back the unknown. All those elements have been severely missing from Halo, and it's what made the franchise stand out in the first place. The way forward is through the evolution of the core concept. And I truly believe the executors, the firewall fracture, and the created threat is the evolution Halo desperately needs. 